Hi, Layla. I'm going to go over your paper and I want you to look at this and make the corrections and resubmit it. Um, try to get it in before Sunday, at least, because the final one is due on Tuesday. Be sure to read your email if you haven't already. So this gives you time to work on this. Uh, the first thing that I see is that that isn't doesn't have your page number or anything. So let's take that out. Go to insert page number. Say OK. And then click. I have a horrible version of this. So, well, hold on. Let me see if it'll let me do brown one. Okay. Okay. Uh, Brown, yeah, no, don't do that. Do not do that. Take that out. <laughs> Go to insert. It, I, it was fun to try it anyway. Okay, so go to the right. Let me see. Format it. Uh, start at page one. Okay, say okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to, this actually should be, and I'm going to go back to the page number, page number, and it should be on the right. I don't know why it's not doing that. Um, most of them will do that for you, but heaven knows why. Okay. Oh, let's go back. Okay. So I'm going to type in your last name right here. See if it'll let me go back. Oh, okay. I'm going to hit tap. You should not have to do this. And it could be the version that you're using is kind of weird. Okay, now it should go brown two, brown three. Okay, now the last thing here is to highlight that. Go to your home screen. Make sure that that is Times New Roman. Make sure it is 12. Okay, let's go to the next thing. And let's make sure everything is in um, Times New Roman. So I'm going up above this blue bar, or you could just do this. Just right click and drag down here until all of that's highlighted. We'll work around the boxes. So if it stays like this. Okay, I'm going to go to home screen. I'm going to go to Times New Roman. Okay, and see, it's not defaulting to that. So I know I may have some problems, but we'll deal with those as they come. Okay, this part here, make sure you spell the person's name right because it makes it look like you didn't read it. Uh, so you got to have Ramsey there. And you've got to give your three main points. So let's just say motive means an opportunity. She had a reason why she wanted to do it. Uh, maybe she was mad. She had a means, she had a weapon, or she had a way to... Uh, cause her injury with her own hands even and opportunity she was alone with her or with her and other people who are keeping silent so you could go ahead and put that but for, always have your three main points in that okay now I'm going to go ahead because I actually did another one of these before uh, and the audio wasn't on so under the box, what you're going to do is you're going to take that citation, you're going to take cloud, and from this point on, actually, I'm going to go up here to your thesis. I'm going to go to everything and say that it's double space. Then you don't have to keep doing that over and over and over again. 
for each section. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so we're going to go right click. No, we're not. Okay, I'm just going to do it. Go ahead and, and do all of that. Then I'm going to right click and say paragraph. I'm going to set it. Now, I can tell you because they're not already set that it's going, we're going to have to do some adjustments. All of these need to be at zero. All four of these need to be at zero. It also needs to be double spaced. Okay, and it doesn't like that you went back and corrected it. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you pay the price. Not really. But it may make you go back and tweak. See, it got mad at you. Because John Cloud is at the half inch mark. You've got to see right up here. There's a tiny, tiny little tick mark. Okay, you're going to have to bring it over to where the gray meets the white because that's the one inch margin. Okay, let's see if any of the other ones are out. Okay, these all look good. Well, let's hope that's the only one we had a problem with. Yeah. Okay, no, here's another one. Um, okay, so the little tick mark there, bring it where the gray meets the white and it's all aligned. Okay, so... We got our thesis, and now we're going over here. I'm going to put John Cloud on the next page so that you can see everything. Okay, first of all, take out all of these extra lines. I would take all of this out. Because you need to just hit tab. Don't hit space, space, space. You just hit tab to make it go over for five spaces. Okay, I'm going to highlight all of this, okay, down to there. I'm going to right-click paragraph because I need it hanging and dented. Everything stayed the same except for this little guy. And it's not, you're just going to have to hit tab twice. So let's go to hanging. All right, so this is good. Tab, tab, and see where the line is there. See where the second, third, and fourth line of the citation is. And see where the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and on. Those are, they're all aligned. And this line here, that's indented. That's the only thing that's not aligned with them. Okay, so I'm going to go to uh, the next one. And same thing. Let's go ahead and take out, now, Vicki is actually on the margin line, it looks like. I I would go ahead where you've hit space, 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 space. Take that back like that. Okay, remember, you cannot have all cap, excuse me, all capital letters. So go up to uppercase A, lowercase A. Capitalize each word. Okay. That looks great, except search, academic search complete is a, is a proper noun. It's the name of a specific database. So capitalize the A, S, and C. Okay, so where does that one end? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight that. I'm going to go to right click paragraph. Okay, this one might not need any tweaking. And I'm going to hit hanging. Now I'm doing this on each individual one. Oh no, actually I do. Actually, this one is over the you need to bring it back. Okay. Now I'm going to Mm -hmm. let me try this because it was there I don't know if it's going to go out again but I'm trying to uh, okay left in the zero yeah it may not work hmm. oh goodness 
that was a hot link. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to have to bring her. See, this is where Vicki Bain is. She's got to go back to where the gray hits the um, white. Let's just do her thing and go to paragraph. Okay, that should not be negative five. I don't know what's going on. I told you it was going to give us a bad time. Okay, so I'm going to see if she'll go back. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I all I did is I just hit backspace right before the B. Now here, that's supposed to be indented. So let's indent one more time. Okay, and see how all of that aligns as it should. Okay, so that's there. This looks a little long. I, hopefully people will tell you you need to take some of that out. And make sure you've got the credentials. Um, let's see what the credentials are. Brings you that no, you don't want to put you or I. Uh, no, she strived to tell compelling stories, but that uh, I I like to tell compelling stories, but I'm not an author. I'm not a published author. So you got to tell me more about where where what she's a journalist so talk about where she worked who she wrote for what magazines and all of that so you need to do that it could be somebody in your group has already done the research and can share that with you okay again it's academic search complete and if i missed one of them please go back and fix that Okay, I'm going to move Richard down here. Okay, and I'm going to take this out here, and I'm going to hit. I'm going to highlight that citation and the notation. I'm going to go to paragraph, and I'm going to hit hanging and say okay. All right. Now, this one's got some spaces here. Let's see. Space, 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 space. Hit tab. Okay. Then that one's okay. Go down to this one. It looks like you started doing it right later. Um, so, it looks like you, you got it, what to do, but you forgot to go back and... and fix the first one okay let's go back up i'm getting tired of try typing this so i'm going to copy and paste it copy be sure to capitalize all of those okay and then take this out um, I think you could go just do, try to do this citation and see if that makes it a little easier. Okay, go to hanging because everything looks good there. Yeah, it is. Okay, the only thing is this here is, it looks like you're hitting space, space, space. You don't want to do that. So hit uh, tab and see it's see how the first sentence doesn't you can't tell where it starts that's why you're going to hit tab and it's going to go over and then it makes it e very easy and friendly to read okay then we've got this one let's take these out remember let's do not put that in all caps go up where it says capital A, lowercase a, and do that. Okay, academic search complete. Remember to put that in all capital letters. I mean, not all. I'm saying the A, the S, the C, not the whole word. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. I'm going to just get the citation. I'm going to highlight it. Everything's aligned. It's double. I'm going to hit hanging and it should be perfect okay the only thing that isn't perfect let me see if i can go back to i just don't like all those spaces in there okay tab tab 
All right. So my other suggestion is this is gray. That's Glick, G L G R. Jerome. Well, J comes after G, so that's going to go at the bottom. So you need to alphabetize them when you, before you turn them in, and then Bane. So it should be let's see, Bane, um, Glick. Gray, Jerome, am I missing somebody? Wait, one. Wait, where's the second one? Two. Three. Four. You only have four? Gray. Glick. Jerome. And Bane, you only have, wait. Yeah, you only have four. So correct me if I'm wrong, but you need to have five. Uh, so make sure you might want to see if somebody will share something with you. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got that one. Wait. Oh, you didn't spell his name right. Do not ever refer to an author by his or her first name. It's always last name. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. Another thing is, John Benet, just keep in mind, this is the, the family thing. So just like we don't like to have our names misspelled. I know I don't. Um, John Benet, that's a capital B. Don't ask me why. It's just that way. It's, I spell my name a certain way and other Janines spell theirs another way. I'm sure I know the same is true with Layla because we have a Layla used to before she divorced my uh, nephew. It was L-A-Y-L-A. -L -A. So, yeah. Anyway, you need to come up with a fifth one and maybe by co collaborating with others, they can help you out there. Um. And if you want to meet with me before, you want to email it to me, let me look at it in advance, that's great. The final copy is due Tuesday now. It's due Tuesday the 11th, 11.59. But don't put it off. I'd, I'd use this extra time to get some help from me, okay? All righty. I will send you a hard copy that's a PDF that you can't copy, but at least you can kind of look at it.